What didn't say no to an item shop? Well, there goes my coin bonus. Uh oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, bad. Okay, well, that worked out. Panic lightning for the win. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Okay, here's the deal. We have ourselves another fun little roguelike game. At the start of every run, you get a free upgrade. This one is Mom's Book of Ice. Now what this one does apparently is freezes all the enemies as soon as you walk into the room. That seems pretty good, but they thaw out right away and then they're really annoying again. So I think we can find a better one. The one in particular I'm looking for poisons all the enemies in the room. Because as you can see, they're not very bright. As long as I could be poisoning them and avoiding their attacks, I could be beating every room without losing any health and spending all that hard-earned money on upgrades. So it's just gonna be be a matter of how many retries it takes to find an upgrade I like, particularly the poison. Or maybe this one, burn them all. If this continually burns the enemies, I would be okay with that too. So far so good actually. Yeah, you know what, I think this might work really nicely. Because, like I said, nope, never mind, it stops burning them. That was the right idea though, because look how easy it is to avoid most of their attacks. If I could be poisoning them this entire time, all I'd have to do is walk around barely even paying attention. Think I finally found it, Book of Death. Mom's book, poison them all. Enter, those just the words I live by. So now all I have to do is enter a room and avoid their attacks. Most things in this game go left and right. They don't really attack up and down. So as long as I'm going like this, they can't really even hit me. Look at their health slowly dwindling and I take no damage. Then I can use all the money I found from these guys, not to buy health upgrades that I don't need, but for weapons and armor. Poison won't actually entirely kill them. It leaves them with their last sliver of health. But all I gotta do is go like that. Then they'll drop whatever treasures they have for me. These guys didn't have much but a scroll. I can use bombs to blow up all these rocks. I don't think it's worth it for the barrels unless I have a surplus of bombs. This won't be a quick process for me, but nothing ever is. It's the patience game. These guys dropped an axe for me, which I think does way more damage than my sword. The sword I start with is 6, 16, 18. This does 16, 16, 20, so definitely more damage. Our first shop, and it's a pet shop. You can have one of these follow you around. Breaks barrels, uh, poisons enemies, unless they move too much. I might do double poison. That might be really good. Here's another shop, and a wooden horse. Roots orbs and turns enemies into sheep. That could be amusing, but that takes mana, and I don't really want to deal with a lot of mana on this run. I just want to be able to hit things with my axe and poison them. Uh, this shop didn't really have anything worth getting. Destroy barrels to get full rage. I don't really need full rage. I just need to poison enemies and avoid them. I've also just realized that I can throw my axe too, so this gets even easier, because I can just sit way back here and kill everything. You can throw axes back, but as long as they're not uh, the same level horizontally as me, well, they're dead. I found a permanent damage upgrade, so I'll go ahead and take one of those for sure. Other things I'm looking for are the backpack so I can hold more relics with me, and always better weapons. The more damage I can be doing, the quicker this whole thing's going to be. Probably should be drinking more of these potions. I don't know what many of them do though. More power and full HP. Oh, that's actually pretty good then. So yeah, I should be paying more attention to those. I think all we've got left is the boss fight at this point. So hopefully this goes okay. Should I drink another potion before I do that? Yellow potion. Yeah, we'll do that. What's the worst that could happen? Every hit's a crit. Double damage for the next battle. Oh, well that's good for the boss fight then, isn't it? Which looks something like this. Ow. Okay, that's not a very good start. But as long as I avoid that big club, I'll be okay doing 32 damage per hit right now because of those potions so this is actually going to be very easy which is great because this fight isn't always super easy because that thing hits really hard and it has a lot of range on that attack kind of wish i had a better axe but i'm sure i'll find one eventually a better weapon of any kind really and two more hits yeah you're dead oh a big hammer that might be perfect and a backpack backpack store more gear gilded predator 23, 37, 69. Huge damage. And enemies drop more gold, so I'll get more upgrades from that. That couldn't have been more perfect. And these just upgrade damage. So we'll go ahead and leave the axe behind. That way we have an inventory slot. And now we have this hammer that does massive damage. And to get to the next dungeon, we get to ride in a catapult. And I probably should have healed myself before jumping up, but I don't think we land in battle. And the next dungeon has whatever that says. I don't really care. Did that heal me? Probably. Okay, now we gotta deal with these. Okay, already on fire. We're after a bad start. Everything's being poisoned though. We'll see the damage. Whoops, didn't hit him. Uh, 23 damage. 23 damage. That's not a ton for basic attacks, but still more than I was doing. And I think my stronger attack probably does... Yeah, 69. Lots more. I didn't expect to find a B here, and I don't think I can poison it either. It doesn't seem to be taking poison damage. Uh, so this might put a wrinkle into my plans for sure. I don't really know how to deal with this right now. I'll just kind of take my time and do it slowly. Normally there's a warning for boss fights, like it has a skull on the room on the minimap. Okay, everything's just multiplying now. This is going to get really dumb really fast, I can already tell. As long as I keep moving, I'm sure I'll be fine. That always seems to be the case with this game. Just keep moving. I uh, took it down to like maybe one sixth of, uh, one sixth of its health off. Kind of wish I had a ridiculous weapon right now. would feel a lot better about this. And it hit me again. Great. Maybe I'll use a bomb on it. Will a bomb hit this thing? I'm not really sure. Did I... Okay, there's the bomb. Now that I've lost all my health, trying to figure out how to use the bomb. And I think I'm going to die. Stupid bee. I'm going to have to restart this whole thing again. Surprise bees are the worst kind of bees and i don't know why i'm not allowed to poison it my poison should have already killed it by now like it's been forever trying to do this 
And I'm dead. Why must my plans always fail? All I wanted to do was poison everything. Now I gotta do it all again. And I'm not doing it with ice. Poison or nothing. Here we go again. Poison all. And in hindsight, clearly the pet I had wasn't poisoning everything because I'm doing eight damage just at basic poison. Already found some interesting stuff at the shop. Uh, this adds one inventory slot, basically a backpack. But this hammer, 2743, 200. If I land 200s on anything, especially if it's a critical hit, they're gonna die. So say I combine that with an animal that does critical attack, double damage chance. Well, that could be a ton of damage. So we're going to go with that. Between that and the poison, I think we should be in good shape, even if we do fight a bee. So now all I need to do is find like 200 gold to be able to buy all this stuff. Want to kill the shopkeeper? Oh, hello. That actually works. Okay, this might have been a short-sighted decision. I didn't realize he would spawn like that. Can I have the items though now? Did that actually work? Give me that. Oh, it did work. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, I had good intentions. I didn't realize he had a bodyguard. That absolutely counts as my plan working. I got the hammer. Again, found the poison. This time we're not going to make any purchases until we explore the entire floor. My hammer has returned. I just need a little bit more gold to be able to get it. And I do have a few rooms left, so hopefully I can make that happen. One of the monsters did just drop the carrier, so that's an extra inventory slot. So that'll make me a lot stronger as soon as I fill it with something good. There's also a pet I would really like to buy, plus 10 HP after every battle, but I gotta buy the hammer first, I think. Well, I managed to find enough gold for the hammer by blowing up some rocks. And the treasure map would also be fun. I've got one chest I can open that'll hopefully give me the money I need. At the sacrifice also of lighting myself on fire for a moment. What do we got? Triple melee damage for your axes and hammers. Well, it just so happens I'm holding a hammer, so that's going to be pretty awesome. And double arrow damage, apparently. What does the blue one do? Fills you with magic. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and fill ourselves with magic. I didn't mean to press that. Well, that's what the hammer does, so great. We're making progress. I got the hammer that time. I got to use it. I just used it on myself by accident. And we had double damage on hammers and everything. That would have been the run. And again, poison. Go. So. Get a random gift for 50 HP? Yeah, why not? I've already made a lot of poor choices. What's one more? This looks pretty fun. Sets enemies on fire. Yeah, I'll take that. That's definitely base better than my basic sword at least. No hammer this time, just the horse staff, which I don't really want right now. But let's see how this fire stuff works. Yeah, I can just hit them every once in a while and the fire stacks are the poison. That actually works pretty nicely. Whoops, did not mean to get hit by the bomb. Sacrifice some bombs to blow up these rocks and I got my bombs back plus a whole bunch of other stuff. So that was a good choice. The first one I've made like this year. A room with three chests. Hopefully one of them has a weapon. And I just told myself I should have saved that gold key and used a bomb instead. And this is exactly why. Very luckily found a gold key and a rock. So now I can open this chest and then we'll move on to that boss fight. Hopefully this is something good. I like the look of this. Take half damage, drop bombs when hit. Plus the treasure map, the map of the entire thing, probably pretty good. Oh yeah, I probably should have done that on the next level. Well, whatever. Pretty sure we still can once we hit the next level. Let's go defeat that boss and then we'll deal with all that. So same strategy as always. I'll just hit it every once in a while. It'll burn and poison and I'll just really, really avoid all that damage. Because that's a big club. It gets a little hard to see when you're behind the boss. So you kind of got to work it back and forth a little bit. But so far, so good. This is very easy, as the first boss usually is. Kind of wish I did more damage overall, but this damage over time is just fine, because attacks are easy to avoid for the most part. Dead. I don't use mana anyway, so I'll sacrifice all of that. And what does this little thing do? The inside locked chests. Also tempting. Um, We'll take the damage upgrade. No, we won't, because you actually have to hold on to that. Okay, we're going to turn mana into gold endlessly, because that's just helpful for me. Can I use it now? Two more rooms. wonder how much that's going to give us. Yeah, we'll work with this for now. So if I'm understanding this correctly, then every three rooms, this is going to recharge for 100 coins. Yeah, I think that's going to be a really good deal. Every shop moving forward, I'm going to buy out now. I'm going to buy all the good stuff. No, nope, back to doing what we do best. Avoiding stuff and slowly killing enemies. Some of these rooms are going to be a bit harder to work with than others because of the things on the ground like that. But at least I dropped bombs and I'm hit now. And most of the enemies aren't ranged anyway, so I can just kind of slowly walk away from them. And I like this. Adds one inventory slot. That's hugely helpful. This sword might be better than mine. No, it doesn't do fire damage. I don't really want it. This should be a shop full of magic scrolls. I don't really use these a lot because I don't really understand them. We'll get to that one day. Some of the rooms with multiple enemies that can throw stuff are a little more difficult because you have a lot of arrows to dodge, but still not bad overall as long as you keep them nice and organized. Whoops, didn't even see that one was still alive. And there's a bomb. See, it's very small decisions like that where I'm not paying attention that cost me a lot of health. Luckily for me, I am smart enough to stack healing potions. They're not going to bring me a long ways up, but they are going to help. Okay, whatever I have that's dropping bombs is really, really bad for me because that just killed me. I 
just got knocked down right onto one of my bombs and couldn't move. So we're not picking that item up again, ever. This time the boss dropped a big purple axe, and I'm kind of excited about that. 7, 15, 21. Rage attacks have the enemy health bar. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely use that one. Plus, I also found this at the shop. Plus 10 poison damage. I don't know if that's going to uh, work with the poison that I just automatically have, but that would be a huge upgrade if that's the case. The poison does stack, so we're doing 18 damage per tick instead of 8 now, thanks to my little poison upgrade. And I found a white potion, which gives me 15 gold per battle until I get hit. So I'm going to drink that and try not to get hit for a long, long time. Also, I have a pet that attacks enemies too, so it can be very helpful in finishing off the enemies, because my poison won't all the way kill them, but my pet, I think, will. And bear in a barrel is a permanent effect. Destroy barrels to get full rage. Well, that just sits up there anyway. It doesn't take an inventory slot, so I've got nothing to lose with that one. Definitely got hit in this room, so I lost my gold bonus, but that's okay. I'm right next to the shop, and I've got 120 gold, which is enough to buy something for now if there's something worth buying. This one's interesting because 300 damage to direct stomp attacks. That's huge damage, but that I don't think is going to work on things like bosses, so I'm not that interested in it. Do we think it's worth sacrificing all the bombs we need to get over to that side? I probably don't want the staff, but whatever's in that chest might be interesting. And here's a sword I feel like I might like. Lightning attack, great sword, 9, 20, 100 damage. And we've got the bombs, plus we can find all sorts of stuff in these rocks too. Like there's another bomb, so I got a free bomb plus a healing potion, so that was already perfect. And in the blue chest we have nothing I want. Scrolls probably, but you know what? Nah. Let's drink the purple potion though. Let's start to figure out what these do. Focus. 5% double, double damage chance. Well, whoops, this is the boss fight. Didn't mean to walk into this one already, but here you go. Uh, I can just enjoy my poison for now. So far it seems to have a very predictable attack. I'm pretty much just going to stay behind it and let the poison do all the work. Oh, that was a big attack. Wow, that was like 800 damage all at once. I don't know how I did that, but I think I like it. Well, let's take another uh, bonus upgrade, damage upgrade, because those are going to stack. Uh, healing potion, and what did this one do? Mirror thrown weapons. It's a permanent upgrade. I just don't have anything to throw yet. Rooms like this are definitely super easy for me to do, because my pet will take care of everything that I can't. Basically, poison does everything, pets get the rest. I just sit here and wait. I'll drink a teal potion. I'm just going to drink the potions as I find them now. Archery range up. I'm pretty sure they only do good things anyway, so what's to lose? 5% double damage chance, so we're up to 15% double damage chance. This one's actually going pretty well. Next dungeon. Well, this looks nice. We're after a good start. What do we got? Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, we're gonna have to take care of them quickly, or they're going to kill me. I don't want to go out there where all the projectiles are. Oh, those things are fighting each other, actually. I can mostly just sit back and watch for most of this if they're gonna fight each other. Then I can just kill whoever's left at the very end. I'm also maybe gonna come back for that chest, because right now I'm getting an extra 15 gold per battle as long as I don't get hit. If I got that chest, I would get hit, and I would lose my bonus. And I just found a second white potion, so I'm getting 30 gold per battle. I didn't realize those could stack, so that could be interesting for a run in itself. It probably counts as a hit, but I am going to take that eventually. So a room like this could be a lot of gold, provided I don't die. I let my lightning out prematurely, but you know what? That's all right. I think I can still do this without getting hit. And Black Potion does what exactly? Heavy magic. Magic up, range down. Okay, so some of the potions do have a detrimental effect. Not that that one affected me in any bad way, but you know. Okay, so that's what lightning does. Once your rage bar is full, you can lightning out for huge amounts of damage. And another white potion. So now we're going to get 45 gold per battle. Uh, wait, hold that. Another one. 60 gold per battle. So much pressure on me now not to get hit. We know I'm going to screw this up at some point. Uh, that was really close right there, actually. Okay, very carefully. Going to navigate this room. That would have hurt a lot. Okay, and there I got hit. Well, you know what? That's all right. We had a good run. We got 566 gold to our name. That's enough to buy a lot of stuff. Now to just carefully navigate our way up to that chest. I think I can hide beside it for a second. Yeah, we're good up here. That's on my finger. Do I have to carry that though? No, I can just see inside locked chests now so I know if it's worth it to go for them. And I think that increases bomb damage. I don't actually want that. Whoops, because I hit myself more than anything with bombs. Those are a new enemy type. I'm going to be a little wary of these because if you don't know, don't touch it. Actually, you know what? Lightning. That takes care of anything one hit. Between that lightning, my extra poison damage, and my pet, these rooms are still pretty easy. Knock on wood. What is this thing? Stormbringer. Don't care. Whoops. Uh, okay, I need to be very careful of my health because I can lose it all pretty quickly. So I found out. In fact, I'm going to be using my little healing potions more often to make sure my health does stay topped up. Some of these rooms are getting harder to avoid the enemies on. But still not too bad overall. None of the rooms I ever felt like I was really in danger yet. Uh, another item shop? What do we have? Well, this attracts coins, so it'll be slightly easier to pick up coins. So that's something. 
And this one is just protection from orbs, arrows, and thrown weapons. 20 projectile hits. I mean, I've got the money for it. I think I'm going to buy that now anyways. I still got $500 left. I might as well spend it on something. And apparently that's the entire dungeon. So I'm going to top my health up one more time and we're going to go try this boss, which is a real big one apparently. I probably should have found some barrels to smash the top of my rage meter. That way I could just lightning this thing to death. But you know what? That's all right. I see a pretty predictable pattern emerging already, so I think we'll be alright with this one. Whoops. But he does move a little bit faster, so he's definitely harder to avoid. A couple more hits and all of my rage meter all uh, raged up, and I'll be able to one-shot him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a new one. Okay, here we go. And laser. Oh, did I not work? Oh, I think I need a little bit more rage. Thought I missed him. That would have been heartbreaking. Ow, stop. Okay, here we go. Laser death. Perfect. Whatever that is, it works great. Our reward for killing Big Idiot Stick, triple melee damage for axes and hammers. Though if I happen to find an axe or hammer at any point, I will be doing some pretty big damage. Guards, do not attack them. Please come forward. Uh, can I fight you now? I recognize you. The witch said you might come. He is here to help us. She? Am I a female or is the witch a female? Someone is raising the dead in the catacombs. Yeah, let me guess. You want me to go take care of that. You want to give me a weapon or some gold since I'm here to help you and you're a king? No? Well, at least they give me one chest, which has a key. You know what? A key, I'll take. I have a feeling this is going to be harder yet. A purple chest? What's in there? I see a whole bunch of coins. I honestly don't know if it's worth the risk to go and grab that. It's just a bunch of coins, and I don't really need coins. If I finish the floor with something I want to buy, I'll go back for that. But until then, not going to risk it. Ooh, these rooms look a little bit more difficult. Yep, we're going to have a tougher time avoiding all of these things for sure. So my pet's going to work in a hurry. Actually, then again, if I just kind of sit in these rows, nothing can really hurt me. If I'm between the stones, I can't attack up and down. What are these? Twisted knives do a lot of damage. I need a hammer or an axe, though, because of my triple damage thing. Can you guys drop me a hammer or an axe, please? Or a green glowy sword that might be really cool. Uh, it's going to be hard to take a look at that. Which is why I'm going to move it as soon as I get close to it without taking damage. Okay, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it does poison enemies. And I'm already poisoning enemies, so I don't need it. He needs help. How did you get in there? Like, I feel like this is your own fault, but I will get you out because I want that chest. And I don't want to drink those, I want to use bombs. Bombs are the way to go. You're welcome. The ceiling fell down and I got stuck. Help me unlock this chest and I will be forever grateful. Okay, well I get the stuff in the chest though, right? Know what I was expecting to find. You can keep everything. You're damn right I can. Another chest room. Okay, yeah, there's just a bunch of coins in there. And again, I don't know if I want to risk the damage on this. I guess it's pretty easy to solve this one, but well, I'm up to $750, so as soon as I find an actual shop, I'll be laughing again. Wouldn't say no to an item shop. Well, there goes my coin bonus. Uh oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, bad. Okay, well, that worked out. Panic lightning for the win. Need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Melee up and health down. Okay, I'm not drinking anymore, whatever that was. Finally found a shop again. Oh, I think I like a look at that axe on the end. What's the big purple ball, too? And the sword for 900 what does that do? Can I stand there without dying? What are these spikes for? Okay, fake Excalibur apparently is very expensive. Uh, what is this? That affects arrows, orbs, and thrown weapons. Less damage, shoot through obstacles. Interest. I think I want the war axe though, considering how much damage axes and hammers are doing. And how did my health get so low? Was I poisoned? I think I'm still poisoned. Uh oh. Wait, why am I poisoned from standing on the spikes? If I die right now, I swear to god, I don't have any healing potions left. Well, I'm alive, but only barely. And I dropped my healing potions because I picked up my new axe. So I'm going to survive, but that really worried me for a second. And I'm going to pick up that sword and hold on to it for now because it does have that cool lightning attack. But I think my damage overall is going to be enough to make up for that. Oh, is this the boss already? I should pay more attention. Might not be. Ow. Oh, I'm doing big damage here. Look how much I just did to him. Oh, I was just going to tank through him, but I might not be able to. Okay, we're going to take a second to regroup here. Staying back nice and far. Uh-oh. Right. Going back that whole paying attention, I wouldn't have walked into a boss fight quite like that. I'm getting new items to start. I can't really find any of my poison type stuff, but this one's interesting. Turns mana into gold. This will give me so much gold moving forward. I'll be able to do anything I want. I'm just going to have to actually play the game and kill enemies myself, which is going to be a bit of a change. It actually takes so long to kill enemies. I didn't realize that before. That poison upgrade really was the best. Here's something interesting to combine with my coin chest. Plus one mana after each battle. Well, that's going to mean a lot more coins for me. Every three battles, that's an extra 100 coins. Plus, I could be using all these mana potions I find to top myself back up. Then, well, that's just more extra coins. 418, basically two rooms later. Now, if I could just find myself a proper item shop, I'd really be happy. 
A room with three chests would probably work too. If I'm quick enough, I think I can only burn myself once doing this. Uh, maybe not, but you know what? That's fine. Freeze immunity, sure. Plus a shield for less damage. We'll take some healing potion for sure. We're going to need some to get through this stupid room. And this, health down, freeze duration up. I don't really care about freeze duration that much. And a satchel for an extra inventory slot. Three is definitely the minimum I would take. The boss is different than he was last time. This is not the usual first boss. So far, it's not really much more difficult though. It just kind of rolls its head around once in a while and does that. As long as you're paying attention, you'll be good which is kind of a weak spot for me. Well, it wasn't a particularly quick battle, but it's done. And I got an axe that I think I'm gonna like. 1,088 gold, and I find the item shop of stuff that I don't want. Everything definitely is a lot harder without the poison. But here's a nice hammer that should help me. More damage, plus enemies drop more gold. Yes, please. Not that I really feel like I need any more gold, but if I do find the right items, I'd rather have the gold than not have it. Plus, this hammer does a ton of damage if you hit them with the big thing. Even maybe this attack? Yeah, 53. Ooh, plus extra... I got excited about the extra poison damage for a second, then I remembered I don't do poison damage anymore. And I think right now also, gold is healing me. I'm not sure if I'm still collecting it, but it is at least healing me. Wow, look at this room. This is going to be a nightmare. Really wish I had my poison damage right now. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of me, just because I can't physically deal with as many things at once. Dead. That was so many chests though, wow. 